Ladies and gentlemen, this is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I don't really know why I made a Star Wars reference like it was something to do with this video. It just seemed like the thing I wanted to do at the time. Anyway, we got some new jazzware news, and it's been quite a while. First of all, I want to clear the air and explain why I've not made a jazzware video for a long time. I have a series of about seven jazzware reviews coming out very soon. I've had them all recorded for a while. I've not talked about leaks for a while because, um, frankly, I don't think Jazzware likes me talking about leaks. I mean, I know companies don't like me talking about leaks, but I'm in this very difficult position where Jazzware's PR team, like Jazzware's social media, is next to non-existent. They don't reveal almost any of the new sets, uh, pretty much at all. Maybe there'll be like one Twitter post, but that's pretty much it. And they reveal them months and months and months and months after the first leaks come out. So I'm in this weird position where I want to talk about Jazzware leaks, but I know they don't like it. But at the same time, they don't talk about it themselves. Like I've tried to reach out to Jazzware. I've tried to get like press pictures uh, to no avail. So if anyone from Jazzware is watching this, please uh, do hit me up. I want to establish a better relationship with you guys. But this is hot off the store shelf news. Like this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is a guy, um, apparently he was sent this set early, but I mean, he was sent it. It's not a leak. He has a Sergeant Forge versus Reaper Marami two pack. Like what? That's insane. Like that's actually insane. So I wanted to make a quick video talking about this thing. It looks really good. The detail looks way better. Looks like Jazzware has actually stepped up detail and printed Decol even more. The Arbiter, the Reaper Marami in particular, looks way better than the Thelva Dems that we've been getting recently. Yeah, if you check out the back of the packaging, because that's not even what I was talking about in this video. I'm freaking out. If you check the back of the packaging, there are, okay, first of all, there's six single new figures in the world of Halo, but then the world of Halo, uh, there's hero and villain two packs. Tartarus versus Prophet. We've got Arbiter Reaper Marami versus uh, Forge. But then we've got a Flood Tank versus Halo 3 Master Chief with a Shark Fin Flamethrower and three Flood Forms. Oh my gosh. The Flood has come to Jazzware. I don't think anyone saw this coming at all. Jazzware, I've always like really praised them um, above anything else for being consistent with releasing new molds. Like McFarlane were pretty gradual with their releases. The Halo Mattel line, they were kind of okay. Uh, Mega Constructs likes to reuse molds all the time. They have a very strict molding budget. <sighs> Jazzware just keeps on going. Like seriously, Jazzware just keeps on going. Um, first, we'll, we'll quickly look over uh, the individual figures for this series. We have got better quality images from Target of these. We got a Halo 3 Grunt. We've got the Master Chief from Halo 2. Sergeant Johnson, oh my goodness. Felverdum in silver armor. We've got an ODST. We've got Spartan Lock. Reaper Marami, again, in silver armor. I mean, there's so much to talk about there. Like, obviously, you guys know that ODSTs are, like, my absolute favorite thing. If you would like me to do a video talking over my, my thoughts on these World of Halo figures, I will. Today, I'm only talking about the villain two packs. They're outrageous. They're outrageous. That Prophet looks gorgeous, especially with the floating chair. Like, you could have just had a Prophet, but no, you have the chair as well. Absolute French kiss. The Tartarus with his Fists of Rock looks amazing. Then the Forge versus uh, Reaper Marami. Reaper Marami's face particularly looks good. And then we've got a Flood Tank, man. Oh, I need so many of those. It's so insane. I bet Jazzware toy photographers are going nuts over this. Yeah, the Chief versus a Flood Hunter. And you get three Flood uh, Spores as well. Uh, no, I keep on getting told off online. They're not Spores. Three Flood Infection forms, man. Outrageous. I needed to get this info to you guys immediately. This is just so cool. They look amazing, man. And yeah, we're looking at that forge. Uh, he's got a great, some great attachments actually. You know, he's got that strap for his sidearm, uh, which he does use in the cutscenes, which is really nice. They could have just had two identical arms, but they went all the way. His face, I don't really know if his face looks like Sergeant Forge, but uh, he, he's, he's all right. Two different shoulders. He's got his nice tactical shotgun and the camo I'm actually particularly impressed with. The camo looks really good on his undersuit. Maybe the camo doesn't extend to the top of his uh, thighs, but uh, definitely on parts of his arms and legs, it looks really good. And that Arbiter, 
Oh, it looks so good, man. The molding on that. I need to compare that Arbiter to Thelvadum because clearly it's different, but I don't know how different. Probably the actual Arbiter is the same, but the head is different. I'm not sure. I'll have to cross compare that. The swords look really good. Got a nice glass effect to them, uh, like flowing sort of energy through them. They change colors. In general, the world of Halo is certainly expanding. I thought the world of Halo was always going to just be infinite, but I think... Jazzware has probably come to the exact same conclusion that MCX has come to, which is we can't just keep on making Halo Infinite stuff when there's not enough content in the game. we got to go back to the stuff that people adore, which is definitely Forge versus Arbiter. It's like one of the most popular ever cinematics. So uh, yeah, definitely a good choice. I assume that's the Prophet of Regret because of the green. You can't read the uh, actual name. And then Tartarus, man. God, you're looking so good, Tartarus. Looking so good. The armor looks a bit basic, but the Fist of Rook, definitely. That hammer looks awesome. And that Flood, man. Even the color colors that are ranging through its body. Insane. So I wanted to get that news to you as soon as possible. And if you would like, I'll do a breakdown of the new wave of uh, World of Halo as well. And Jazzware, if you're watching this, let's improve our communication, man, because you don't post about this online, but I really want to talk about it. I really want to give you publicity. So there we go. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Check out all of my previous videos where I've been analyzing all the new MCX information on their website, on other sources. Really exciting time to be a Halo fan. See you next time, folks. The Domain is signing off. Big shout out to our Patreon Billy Gang members. You can support me for just $3 or more. And we're welcoming our second honor guard into the team, Eldarian. Eldarian, <laughs> I hope I pronounce it right. And the biggest of shout outs to our Arbiter patrons, Spartan Dagger, Chalky Chief, and Patches OJO. Thanks so much for having my back. See you next time, Spartans.